recently I played through Wolfenstein, the new, uh, I mean, the young, uh, no, wait, I mean, Old Blood, with the help of some friends to keep me from thinking too hard about the naming conventions of the series and going insane. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me. If you enjoy the video and hate Nazis, don't forget to like and subscribe. The game begins with us taking a nap in a car, but unlike New Order, we're actually in the passenger seat where it's more appropriate to be asleep. Princess Bride fills us in on our mission to walk in the front door of the Nazis' most highly secure superfortress and borrow a sheet of paper that contains the exact location of Wrinkle Nutsack's secret compound so that we can go through the events of New Order. We introduce ourselves to the guard at the front gate as Commander Franz, Nazi bastard from the SS in Frankfurt, and then Princess Bride reminds us that our German is god-awful and that we should shut up and not speak. Why did they bother sending a guy who can't speak good German to infiltrate the Nazis' most highly secure superfortress? That's like sending a bunch of guys who can't speak Italian to pretend to be Italian so they can assassinate Hitler. After walking inside, we steal a map off the wall that we'll be attempting to decipher later on because it's so easy to get lost in this place, and walk through a turnstile where we get interrupted by Hunter Hunter who steals our passport so we can call ourselves a hot dog and he lets us go. We get on a gondola and impregnate the fortress, and yes, I did just use the word impregnate because this is like the exact time you're supposed to use that word outside of, you know, having sex, but this is a gaming channel. No one watching has any experience with that. We take an elevator and stab a Nazi to death so we can borrow his weapon and kill some more Nazis and find out that the folder we're looking for isn't around, so we contact our contact and he tells us that we've got to make contact with him directly. So we kill some more Nazis and drop through another one of those impossible vents from New Order right into an ambush where they punch us so hard the game crashes. And my game crashed. Um, okay. We wake up in a prison cell without a shirt on and try to climb a pipe that breaks, so we use the pipe as a piton. Piton? Rock climbing baton, you know the thing. To climb up a wall, which is really gimmicky and it hurts my tiny brain. You have to hold each mouse button down to keep the spike in the wall, and then let go and press it again while the other one is held down. Sounds easy enough, but when have I ever been good at understanding easy mechanics? I can't even reload my gun in Gears of War. I struggle with this mechanic over the course of the next three hours. We hold a button down to defeat a super soldier and then tap him with our pipe to kill him, and then hold a button down to deactivate an electrical door so we can open it, and then hold a button down to defeat another super soldier and try to kill a third with a minigun, but don't shoot its obvious weak spot, so I die and have to start over. This whole section is just holding down buttons to disable super soldiers and holding down buttons to turn off electrical doors. It's really stupid and goes on for about 10 minutes. We turn on an elevator so that we can use the elevator and make it down to more super soldiers and doors. Are you kidding me? This DLC is only three and a half hours long and they fill it with this. We crawl into a vent and thank god Matt's not here again and drop down into a central area where we get lost crawling through vents because I accidentally crawled through the wrong couple of vents and not the correct one that looks identical to all the rest. After crawling into the correct vent, we break into an office where we're stabbed by a Nazi, but that's okay, we block the knife with our wrist, which is a totally safe way to block a knife because there's definitely no important organs here. Oh yeah, it turns out blocking melee attacks was a mechanic in New Order as well, I just never noticed it was a thing and constantly got killed by dogs. I know I'm not the only one. We crawl through another vent and slide away from a robot dog so we can crawl through some more vents and fail our way through the first real combat section of the game. We kill our way to a boat and ride through a Disney ride to the next area. Where we accidentally sleep on a bed and end up in a classic level that we get stuck in for 15 minutes. This is not what I was expecting to do today. <laughs> After killing some more Nazis in the middle of wherever we ended up, we fall into a well and end up getting so disoriented from head bob and screen shake in this game that I took a break and let Austin take over for me. This isn't disorienting at all. I'm not feeling like I'm gonna throw up. Wee. Tag designation, Nazi bitch. <laughs> so bad. I I may have to literally just have Austin come and take over. Like this is so bad. How do I slide? See. Good job. Uh. Wait, I'm just. Uh. Uh. No, you can squeeze through a fucking mail slot of a vent, but you can't squeeze through that. Austin's employing his Call of Duty skills here. Ah! What is that other guy, though? That's a mystery. I don't know where he is. <laughs> oh. Yes. Precision weapon, the pistol. Alright, you did it. Wait, Austin, you're just taking the wheel now entirely? I can play games, so yeah. Alright. Uh, okay. Wait. So it has a hitbox. Wait. What's you, you the? You have to punch it. Excessive force. I thought it was a flare gun. 
I thought it was a flare gun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Wolfenstein. When would Wolfenstein give you a flare gun? I have a flare gun. To fire flares. For I, I, what purpose? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, they're not Stop coming. Stop humping the window sill. Yeah, we have to pay to see that. Come on. Oh, that didn't work. Dance, monkey. You have to shoot him in the head. <laughs> I found that out. <laughs> it lets you're, me you're fight. Canceling the reload. I know. I just wanted to see if it would let me do it. <laughs> and after that pro-level gameplay, we're back to me. Okay. <laughs> well, that was stupid. <laughs> we open a gate and break into Castle Wolfenstein where we fight a super soldier that now has an extra step to killing it because they're no longer attached to a wire. After annihilating every Nazi in the area, we drop down onto some scaffolding and contemplate the logistics of stealthing halfway onto the ceiling. It's a good thing Nazis don't look up. How often do you look up? Very often because I'm very short. <laughs> All right, fair point. And then we stealth kill the rest of the Nazis in our way. Excuse me, sir, you have been stealthed. We slide into Princess Bride's interrogation room and get surprised by Hunter Hunter, who kills Princess Bride and feeds him to his dog, so we're forced to listen to him monologue at us until he stabs us with our pipe, which was his first mistake because now we can grab it out of our leg and break out to electrocute him instead. Except he escapes, somehow, but at least we killed his Nazi dog. We take an elevator and it's revealed that we're still not wearing a shirt, which means we've literally been doing everything since breaking out shirtless. Nice. We fail our way through another area and ride a gondola to a shooting gallery where we slide down to another gondola that we ride towards a bridge. The gondola gets shot a little bit and we fall out, and then it falls on us, which we survive because that's like the most believable thing we've survived thus far. We kill our way through some caves and play Ring Around the Rosie. It's tough way to Nazis. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and take an elevator upstairs to the bridge. Could this elevator go a little slower, please? I just, I, th I think it's going a little fast for me. Just like, you know, 10 miles an hour slower. Then it would be perfect. We break into an elevator and kill a Nazi inside, but when we open the doors, the rest of the Nazis were already waiting for us, which begs the question, did they know we were in the elevator, or did they just really hate the guy in the elevator and we're just gonna open fire on him and just happen to luck out that it was me instead? After fighting our way across the bridge, we make it into town and meet up with our contact who introduces herself as Raggedy Ann, and we introduce ourselves as William J. Blaskovich, U.S. Military. Which is a pretty weird name, because I know us Americans are super gung-ho about signing up to kill people overseas, but naming your kid U.S. Military is still weird. Raggedy Ann takes us to meet the bad guy from Infamous, and we go through a really strange defense section that's mostly just shooting out of a window until Hunter Hunter shows up for the boss fight section of Ring Around the Rosie that we played earlier, until we stab him in the head. Then he starts to self-destruct, so we dive into the basement to not get blown up. Not that it would have hurt us even if we did, we've survived worse. We take a boat ride to the next area where we're filled in that the piece of paper we're looking for is in town. We just need to kill our way through some Nazis to get to it. Business as usual. We contact our new contact and slide into her basement, where we find out that she's Peppa Pig and she's the first person to comment on the fact that we're still not wearing a shirt. Peppa Pig tells us that we can pose as a waiter and sneak into the party where the piece of paper is, but that we've got to put on a shirt to do that because it's not that kind of party. Lame. We put all our guns away and put on a shirt, and then immediately jump into the sewer because it would have been suspicious if we showed up without a shirt and all our guns, but it's definitely not suspicious to show up sopping wet and smelling of feces. We pick up some wine and sneak upstairs to Frau Ubergewischke, whom we pour some wine and steal the paper, but she stops us before we make it out and monologues to us about her shitty childhood and forces us to take a sip of the wine to ensure it's not poisoned. And she reveals that she knew we were a spy the moment we spoke because our German is fucking awful. But then something explodes and distracts everyone, so we pull the knife out of our hand and steal a gun, and then the building starts to collapse, and we get hit in the head and die, and that's the end of the game. But then there's more. We wake up and put on our headphones. Uh, were we wearing those the whole time we were posing as a waiter? No wonder she figured out we were a spy. And we find a Nazi that spontaneously combusts into a zombie. Yep, a zombie. 
And that's what the rest of this game is about. We catch back up to Peppa Pig, but she gets killed by a zombie, so we grab our weapons and kill her with a half-hearted swing. We make it to round five and send some Nazi zombies to horny jail before picking up a shotgun and sawing it off so that we can never use it because bonking zombies is just as effective. We walk into a building and accidentally make a choice without realizing there was an option, but that's okay, I wanted to save Raggedy Ann anyways. Raggedy Ann monologues to us about a girl she loved that had brought her to this place once, and that she wants to go and find her to reconnect, and man, don't you just hate it when your World War II game gets political by including gay people existing? Yes, conservatives, I am making fun of you. Like any of them are still watching after I baited them a lot at the beginning of the New Order video. After helping Raggedy Ann, we watch the infamous villain die, and then we have to use a robot with the head bob turned up to 11 for a while to make it through this level. And then we make it to the dig site to find Frau Ubergewichtke and steal back the piece of paper that she owes us. We just have to kill some zombies and Nazis first. Is everybody dead? Please speak up now. No. <laughs> Wait, there's still- buddy. <laughs> He's just hanging out. <laughs> it's like if I stand incredibly still, the he American will not see me. see me. He smells the hamburgers, but I'm a vegetarian. So I think you mean the hot dog, not the hamburger. The Frankfurt. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> we fall for a super obvious trap, and Frau Ubergewichtku taunts us a bit before summoning a giant mummy. What happened to the story in this game, man? I realize it wasn't exactly Oscar-worthy to begin with, but at least it was pretty normal. The mummy slaps Frau Ubergewichtku, and we go through a stupid boss fight until we kill the mummy, and then kill Frau Ubergewichtku, who was somehow still alive, and then find the paper we were looking for that she conveniently kept on her instead of, like, burning it or something, and then a random rock falls on her head and kills us, and that's the end of the game. Jesus Christ. Nazi fits fucking everywhere! But then Fergus saves us, and we take a boat ride with him to watch the lesbians reunited. Here's their kiss up front and center. Look at them. Be happy for them. Gay people exist. Mwahahaha. <laughs> and then we cut to us riding to the airfield to get on our plane and assault Death's Head's compound, which means that Old Blood is the Rogue One of Wolfenstein games. Game over. Special thanks to my patrons, whose continued support makes these videos possible. If you want to support the channel as well, patrons get a special avatar that goes at the end of the videos they help support, as well as early access to videos and full-res artwork from thumbnails.